In this video, I want to introduce you to RStudio projects. Why do we use RStudio projects? Here are three reasons. First, RStudio projects will help you keep scripts and data in a single folder. If you're going to analyze data, it makes sense to keep the commands for the analysis, the data, and the output all together in one folder. Using a project folder will also help you keep your files separate from files for other projects. As you take on more and more projects, you're going to be thankful that you've avoided the confusion that can be caused by mixing projects. Finally, RStudio projects will identify for R the working directory that should be used when executing commands, reading data, or saving the output. If you've not worked with R before, it may not be real clear why this is important. It's very important. In my work, as I assist students with getting started with R, the primary problems that students encounter are errors in R because it cannot find the commands or the data. Invariably, when I investigate, I find it is because the student has either not set up a project or because the student closed the project and then forgot to reopen it before working on it again. Always setting up a project and then opening it back up when you come back to work is going to save you a lot of grief. Before we create our first project, let me go through the steps to creating a project. There are two methods to get started. The first method is to let our studio create a project folder in the location that we choose. Method two is to create a folder on your computer first and then identify it for our studio as the place where you're going to keep your project files. There's really no reason for choosing one of these methods over the other. It's really a matter of preference. One nice feature about a project folder that it's like working with regular folders on your computer. So if you're used to doing that, you're going to easily adjust to using RStudio project folders. There's no special type of folder for an R project. It's the same kind of folder you would use on your computer for any of your files. So you can work with it in RStudio, or you can work with it with your computer operating system and File Explorer. Now, once you've created a project folder, if you have existing files you want to put in the folder, such as data, you can do that. When you create and save new files within our studio, such as command scripts, if you've opened the project before starting your work, those files will automatically be saved in the project folder. Also, when you look at your computer folders, you can see project files in the same way that you can see files in any other folder. Let's put this in action. I'm going to open up our studio. First, I'm going to pull down the file menu. And then, of course, I'm going to select new project. After a few moments, this will open up a dialog box. I now have the option of creating a new directory, which is basically a new project folder, or using an existing directory or an existing folder. I'm going to click on New Directory. Then I'm going to click on New Project. Now I'm given the opportunity to decide where I'm going to put the project folder. If you click the Browse button, you can navigate to the directory where you're going to want to put your new folder. Now in my case, you may have noticed that I'm in a folder called R Projects. I work with R so often that the directory that popped up is the directory I created for all my projects. So the default choice is good for me. If you're doing this for the first time, you may want to create a directory for your R projects. So I'm going to go ahead and um, close out of this, cancel out, and I can instead go right here within my subdirectory of R projects 
and give it the name that I want. I'm going to call my new project folder Mount Holly Elementary Analysis. This is the descriptive name for what I want to do in this project. I want to analyze data from Mount Holly Elementary School. So I click on Create Project. Okay, here we go. This has created a new folder called Mount Holly Elementary Analysis. If you look up here, either up in the top left of my R Studio, you can see it listed there. Or if you look right here above the files window, you can see under R Projects, we now have Mount Holly Elementary Analysis. In the files window, you see that I only have one file. That's a project file which we'll never need to look at. It stores behind the scenes information for R Studio. I know it's a project file because the extension is RPROJ or RProj. I already have some elementary school data that I want to move into this folder. And the easiest way to do that is actually with my operating system through my file explorer window. So I'm going to open up the file explorer window. I'm going to browse over to my R projects and then into my brand new Mount Holly elementary analysis folder. And I'm going to move in the data into that folder. And if I now minimize this file explorer window and look in my R Studio project, you'll see that once I put the data in through file explorer, it also appears right here because it's now in the projects folder. So it appears in R Studio. If I want to close the project, I click on file and close project. Now let's see how to begin a new project using the second method that we can use. And to prepare for this, I'm going to need to go back to File Explorer and delete this project folder so that we can start fresh. There we go. This time I'm going to create the project folder within File Explorer first. So let me open it up as though I were just starting from scratch. I browse to where I want to be, and I'm here in our project, so that is where I want to be. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to give it the same name I did before, Mount Holly Elementary Analysis. Okay, now I'm going to minimize my file explorer. And this time when I click on file, new project, I'm going to select existing directory. Now I'm going to browse to the Mount Holly elementary analysis folder. Notice that that is now in the folder name, click open and click Create Project. And as you'll see, the result that we get is the same that we had before. Now, once I've created a project folder and associate it with our studio, I do not need to worry about making that association again. So if I were to close this project, And now let's say I've just returned to our studio. I do not have a project open, but I want to begin to work on that project. I can click on file menu and I have two choices. I can either click on open project, browse over to the folder that I use as my project folder, click on the project file Mount Holly elementary analysis and say open or 
What's easier and will work most of the time, assuming I've been working on this project recently, I can simply click File, Recent Projects, and go right over and click on Mount Holly Elementary Analysis. And that's it. I hope that you've noticed that working within a project folder is very much like working with folders in your operating system. In fact, as you saw, we can move data in and out of the project folder within the operating system, and it will appear or disappear from our project folder within our studio.